welcome back to my channel. I'm Peach Tan. Today, I'm going to share on what is an atom, the structure of an atom, what is unified atomic mass, what are isotopes, and how to represent a species using isotopic notation. If you like my videos, do remember to subscribe my channel, like and share my videos. What is an atom? Atom is the smallest building block of all matter in the universe and atom is extremely small and are made up of subatomic particles. Now we shall look at the structure of an atom. An atom can be divided into two parts, inside the atoms and also outside the atoms. Inside the atoms consists of subatomic particles such as protons and neutrons and outside the nucleus consists of electrons which orbit around the nucleus. Electron, the relative charge is negative 1 and the relative mass is 1 over 1840 and electron is located outside the nucleus. Proton, the relative charge is positive 1 and the relative mass is 1 and it is located inside the nucleus. Neutron, the relative charge is 0, so neutron is neutral and the relative mass is 1 and neutron is also located inside the nucleus. How do we quantify atoms and subatomic particles? To quantify atoms and subatomic particles, a term, unified atomic mass unit, is being introduced. So, unified atomic mass unit basically is used to quantify masses of atoms and subatomic particles. Why do we need to introduce unified atomic mass unit? It is because atoms and subatomic particles, they are simply too small, so they cannot be quantified easily using grams or kilograms. So by definition, one unified atomic mass is equal to one to 12 mass of a carbon 12 atom. By introducing unified atomic mass unit, it made us easier to understand and compare the masses of small particles. This table gives the mass of each subatomic particles in kilogram and also in unified atomic mass unit, or we can just write it as U. Can you see that when we write the mass of each subatomic particle in kilogram, the numbers are too small for us to understand and to do comparison. However, when we write the mass of each subatomic particle in terms of unified atomic mass unit or U, it is easier for us to read and compare. For example, the mass of a proton is 1.007 U, while the mass of a neutron is 1.009 U. Can you see that the mass for a proton and a neutron is approximately equal to 1u. So because of that, most of the time, we will make an assumption that the mass of a proton and a neutron is exactly equal to 1u. The mass of an electron is approximately 1840 times lighter when compared with a proton and neutron. So because of that, often, we neglect the mass of electrons when we calculate the mass of an atom, molecule or an ion because electrons just simply too light to be taken into account in a mass calculations. Now we shall look at another term called isotopes. What is an isotope? Isotopes refer to atoms of an element with same number of protons but different number of neutrons or it can also be defined as atoms of an element with same proton number but different nucleon number. For example, three atoms, they are isotopes because they are atoms of the same element carbon with same number of protons, which is six, but different number of neutrons. In fact, we can represent all the elements using isotopic notation. So this is the usual representations of an isotopic notation. It consists of capital letter X to write the chemical symbol of the element and the capital letter A is to write the mass number or nucleon number of the element 
and capital letter Z to write the atomic number or proton number of the element. And a small case N is to write the charge of the element. In order to write the nucleon number, we must know the formula of nucleon number. Nucleon number is equal to summations of number of protons and number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. And in order to calculate the charge, we just need to subtract the number of electrons from the total number of protons. The element is an atom if the total number of protons is equal to the total number of electrons. And it will be an ion if the number of protons is not equal to the number of electrons. Now I will go through a few examples on how to write isotope notation. So for the first element here, can you see that this element consists of equal number of protons and electrons. Hence, we can conclude that this element is an atom. And this element consists of 8 protons. So if we look at the periodic table, the element which consists of 8 protons is oxygen. So what is the symbol for oxygen? It is O. So we can write O first. And since we know the proton number, so we can write down the proton number first. And how about nucleon number? So to calculate nucleon number, we need to add protons, total number of protons with total number of neutrons. So 8 plus 8 is 16. So the nucleon number is 16. Then how about the charge? So to calculate the charge, so number of protons minus the number of electrons. So number of protons, 8 minus 8, so equals to 0. The charge is 0, so if it is 0, we don't need to write down the charge. The second element here, they already give us the isotope notation. So must remember, the top one is nucleon number, nucleon number. And the subscript is proton number. So proton number 6 which will give us the number of protons. For this element, the number of protons is equal to the total number of electrons. So again, this is an atom. And how do we calculate the number of neutrons? So again, must remember, nucleon number is equal to the summations of number of protons and number of neutrons. Hence, to calculate number of neutrons, we just need to use nucleon number 14 minus the total number of proton 6 to give us 8. How to determine the number of electrons if you are being given isotopic notations of a species? The species given here is bromide ion with charge negative 1. And the nucleon number is 80 and the proton number is 35. So how to calculate the number of electrons of bromide ion? We just need to use the formula charge is equal to number of protons minus number of electrons. So to find number of electrons, we just need to rewrite the equation, which is equal to number of protons minus the charge. And the number of protons here is equal to the proton number, which is 35. Minus the charge here is negative 1. So put in, so we get 36. So means that for bromide ion, it actually consists of 36 electrons. How about if you are being given isotopic notations for a cation? So basically, the method is still the same in order to determine the number of electrons. Again, in this question, we want to determine the number of electrons. We use the formula charge equals to number of protons 
minus number of electrons. So to calculate the number of electrons, you just need to rewrite the equation to give you number of protons minus the charge. And let's remember the number of protons here is equal to the proton number, the subscript of the notation. So we we'll just put in 56 minus the charge. So the charge here is plus 2. So we we'll just substitute in. So we get 54. So means that for barium ion, the species consists of 54 electrons.